to make an artwork, I don't think of a specific theme. I don't think of, uh, I don't think in principle. I try mostly to uh, uh, inform myself of what is uh, <coughs> in the world that I'm living in. And uh, through the work, I hope that is expressed because you live in the um, climate and situation, socially, environmentally. And uh, if you inform yourself, I hope that expresses in, in the work. What I try to do mostly is to create installation that is suspended, that's uh, in between realities in order to give like space for a viewer to engage. I'm not an artist that trying uh, that has like a, a, a answers. I think it's an installation that should raise questions. And what I focused on in this installation is is this twisted idea of time. The time from ancient sculptures to now, from trees to human beings, from my short life. And all these together is forced in an installation like this. In, in a way that life should be. I never work with the idea of what should be the outcome. I have to trust my experience as an artist that, uh, that these tensions are expressed. I think the Rotunda has this very particular, very pristine space. I've seen a lot of sculptures here that makes the space even more pristine. And uh, I don't think that was my, the, the directions I wanted to go. So I wanted to add in a kind of materials that would be in contrast to the existing space to create a kind of dynamic. I'm starting to be even much more interested in structure, not necessarily to create objects for a space, but also to think of frameworks. It was a unique opportunity for me to go back and look at sculptures, but create like a framework that makes it speak, makes the sculpture speaks in a different way. And uh, in a way, the frame is a sculpture, but it's also a pavilion. It's more than just an object. And, um, and that's what I'm, interested in at the moment, how do you in a way liberate yourself as as an object maker? It is always something. You know, you cannot make anything that doesn't give an impression. But I have like this weird character that if people box me in, then I run the other way. You know? So it's, um, it's, it, it's really back to the questions of my role as an artist, not to, not to deliver answers. It's, it's really about escaping the answers because I don't, I don't have them. If you make like an object, you should also think of the surrounding of it. So it's really like this examination of relationships. And that goes back to an idea that if you build like a big structure, you should also be focused on a singular image, that you can work with these contradictions. And I think it's very important for me to always stretch these oppositions and, and see how they work together. And we think this is a big sculpture, but then you should also be able to focus into the tiniest details, no? which lies in a photography. It's this tension I'm very interested in, not only physically, like uh, materially, but also in meaning, no? in, uh, in, in time. That if we can look at the moment of our life now, we should also be able to abstractly think of geological time. No? I wanted to take these sculptures out because I thought it was so beautiful, this idea of thinking of all these broken empires, that no empire lasts, no? and then looking at his own death. 
I, I thought that was such a beautiful gesture. And, um, and, uh, and it, it really gave me a, 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 a ground to move on as an artist. At the moment, I take my time to just look at a, 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 a flower shop that's run by a family uh, that I shop at. And um, I just want to understand better this very simple fact of a family that tries to survive by serving privileged people like me with flowers. And uh, I took a decision that I, I just want to look at this flower shop and understand that better. Like this structure of all these people in our society that serves us privilege with all the beauty we want to surround ourselves with. And that relationship I wanted to dig deeper into. And this is what all the photos is about. When I was invited to do the Rotunda in three months, no? I told the museum, that's like a year ago, no? I told, let's wait and see, you know? We wait till there's a storm and then I'm sure that more trees are falling down and we start the installation from using broken trees, no? Because that was what I learned in my studio. Because when the tree broke, I was like, why chop it up and take it away? Some looks beautiful though, so let's work with how to elaborate on that. I learned like from these broken trees that it's a very good starting point because you don't need to take decisions. And that was how it started, from real, uh, you know, possible real events that can be, you know, um, climate reason or whatever, but it also had a certain aesthetic um, point of departure. And it's through these contradictions that I feel that there's something to push forward. And that's how I honestly work as an artist. But it needs like this kind of strange contradictions of beauty and catastrophes. No? And then trying to push that forward. Of course I have like uh, favorite times of the year or uh, weathers that I like. But I'm not interested in that because it uh, goes back to your desires, no? And as we know that desires are already bought up by everything else. We have to mistrust our desires. But I'm interested in looking at things. I have always been so privileged that I could go to warmer climates because I think that sun and light is healthy for me. And I, because it was a big project, I had to understand darkness. I had to understand why I was escaping these dark hours of, of winter. There's reason for why it's so dark and then colors are so absent. You know? It's a part of it all because there's a beauty in it all as long as we look close enough. Yeah, nature is a weird concept. No? I live most of my life without thinking of what nature is. No? And uh, when you don't think so much about it, then it's the supermarkets, it's the flower shops, it's the, a lot of different things that learns us what nature is. No? And if we are really privileged, we can go to regional uh, uh, markets that sells us regional stuff. But I actually discovered that I, I don't even know what, cr what grows regional. I don't know what grows in season. You know? it's, a, it's an abstract thing because there's so many powers and interests that wants to train us to create what we think is nature. You know? I also invested a lot of energy in creating a garden and, uh, and, and it looks, you know, there's a lot of flowers and a lot of vegetables. But it's not, a, you know, like 
It's not nature even, you know. I have a lot of things to learn still. A dear friend of mine told me, nature is something we should just leave alone. It's frightening, you know. I mean, nature is frightening. It should be like this dangerous forest that you, you know, protect yourself from. That's nature. You know?